is Father Ken Lau and welcome to the new episode of uh, Nuggets for the Soul. We just celebrated Christmas and in scripture it says that uh, after eight days that Jesus was born, he was circumcised. It's on Luke chapter 2 verse 21. It says there, and after eight days were accomplished that a child should be circumcised. His name was called Jesus, which was called by the angel before he was conceived uh, in the womb. And here we see when Jesus was circumcised, this is the first time that he underwent a suffering, a physical suffering, and also the first time that he shed his precious blood. And St. Joseph uh, was there to witness that. In the circumcision of Jesus, St. Joseph offered three sacrifices. I'm reading this from the book of Joseph by Jose A. Rodriguez. And he wrote that the first sacrifice will be the infant Jesus, though entirely sinless and pure, assuming the de degradation of a sinner. He did this by submitting himself to the rite of circumcision, which was instituted as a form of remedy to make peace with the sinner and the Lord. Scripture passage there is from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. He made him who, who knew no sin to be sin on our behalf, so that we might become the righteousness of God. Uh, in him. St. Joseph offered the second sacrifice, which was, which was the willingness to allow Christ to suffer the physical pain of the circumcision. This first cut into the tender flesh of Jesus would be his first physical suffering at the hands of another. Years later, his passion, Jesus would not be granted consolation during his pain until he breathed his last. He would be helpless and without comfort. And this is the fulfillment of uh, what is written in Psalm 69, verse 20. Insults have broken my heart so that I am in despair. I looked for pity, but there was none. And for comforters, but I found none. The third sacrifice that St. Joseph offered would be the shedding of blood. St. Joseph would make the first offering of the most precious blood in reparation for the many offenses committed against our Lord. In scripture from Matthew 26 verse 28, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which shall be shed for many unto remissions of sin. And also during the, the time of the circumcision of Jesus, uh, it was also during the time that he was named. And it was a great privilege and joy of, of St. Joseph. And this is from the private revelation given to uh, Mother Baich. He wrote, Jesus stood by attentively during the procedure, gazing steadfastly at the infant with love and sympathy. Joseph was asked what name should be given to the child. In his humility, Joseph waited for the mother of God to make the announcement first. By God's will, it happened that they pronounced the name of Jesus together. Heaven bowed down at the pronouncement of, his, of this name with all the blessed spirits rendering their homage. So I hope uh, we get a glimpse of what really happened there in the circumcision of Jesus. God bless. The living saint, Jesus Mary Joseph, we trust in you. Mm -hmm.